Hey guys, you ever wonder where your electricity comes from? I just had a rare opportunity to get a look inside of a coal power plant here in Iowa. The coal arrives by train and then gets moved around by conveyor belts. The plant needs tons of water to run the steam turbine and for cooling. This is why you often see power plants on bodies of water. These big steel rollers crush the coal into a fine powder before it is sprayed into the boiler. The exhaust gases then head to a scrubber. All these pipes and pumps down here at the bottom, they move the limestone slurry around where it is then sprayed onto a giant wheel spinning at around 10,000 RPM. This atomizes the slurry and the calcium reacts and removes most of the sulfur dioxide. This plant was an endless maze of platforms, rooms, winding staircases, ladders, and transparent steps. Wherever we went, we heard the sound of hissing steam and the hum of machines and transformers. In many places, we could see down five stories through the transparent steel grating on the floor. And it's amazing to see the scale of everything here, like the centrifugal compressor, 800 horsepower air compressor. And not just one of them, but rows of them. And over here, we've got this uh, screw compressor, rows of this one too. They cannot get enough air in this place. And how about this I-beam here? This is interesting. It looks like they mounted a piece of channel inside of an I-beam and then they uh, bolted it on and welded it. And how about this motor? 3,400 horsepower motor. So everywhere we went here, it was just row after row after row of the switches, breakers, shutoffs, raceways, just electrical stuff everywhere we looked. Here we go, 4,000 volt breaker. So we made our way up to the turbine floor. So the steam comes up to the turbine floor at 2400 PSI at 1000 degrees. The turbine spins the generator and the generator creates the electricity. This is the control room. From here, they can see what's going on in every part of the plant. Every step of the process can be monitored with an endless series of metrics. And there's even a power plant cat. So after leaving the generator, the three phases of electricity leave the generator and go through these insulated tubes at 22,000 volts. Outside, the electricity heads to an oil-filled transformer. This transformer steps up the electricity to 347 kilovolts. From here, it goes to a switchyard and then to cities in Iowa and surrounding states. The two coal plants that I visited are right here. These purple lines are long distance transmission lines that bring power to cities in Iowa and surrounding states. These gray circles, these are wind farms and some of them generate more power than you might think. This one right here is the Highland Wind Project and it has the same operator Mid-American as these two coal plants. In 2020, this one wind farm generated the same amount of power as these two coal plants combined. Over the last 10 years, electricity production from coal has declined about 58%, so things are starting to change.